Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be working on my 2010 Mercedes GLK 350. We're going to be replacing this front grille right here, this chrome, well this whole centerpiece actually. You'll notice mine right here is starting to crack, or peel rather, not necessarily crack. Uh, pretty much on both ends, just I assume just a normal wear and tear. But um, before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner, and we'll get started here in just a moment. So, as far as what type of grill, I just went with this one right here that I got on Amazon. Oh no, I got this one on, e on eBay actually. So, it should be very similar. The only difference is this one actually doesn't have the chrome plates at the top, which I'm actually okay with, not a big deal. And I'm gonna have to transfer the center uh, Mercedes logo here from the old one onto the new one. But let's get started. First one front, you want to obviously pop your hood. Make sure you have a lot of working space. So from the front, you will notice these little clips right here. Loosen them both up and take it, loosen them both up and then take it off. Oh, well that one's already broken. Okay. Should be pretty loose. Okay. All right. And now pull up this little rubber weather strip thing right here. Should come right up. Should be pretty easy. Now you're gonna. Uh, you don't have to take this off. But I'm just gonna take mine off so I have a little bit more working space. But uh, grommet, grommet, pull up, pull up. Okay. Take the intake dunk off. Same thing on the other side. Just take this all the way off, actually. So next, if you go around here, just go into the front so you can see what I'm referring to. These tabs down here. There's one on both ends. Both ends, I mean. You gotta loosen them up. Okay, I think you heard that. There's one more on this side. Okay. Let me go back up towards the front so you can see it. All right, so these intake ducts right here, you don't have to remove them. I'm gonna remove mine just because I don't want anything to break. Okay, again, I'm just doing, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing that because, well, I don't want things to break. It's always good when you have a little bit more working room. Okay, once you get that, forgot to mention that there's a bigger tab right here. I'm gonna pull it up. You'll see it moving. Make sure that's lifted before you start uh, kind of uh, prying on this towards you. So once you get all that removed, get a flathead screwdriver like this, flat blade screwdriver. You'll see these notches up here. There's one, and then of course there's two. If you look deep, deep into it, hopefully you can see it when you try to zoom in. You see that little tab that my light's on? I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and push that tab in. Hopefully. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So get your flat blade in there, just like this. Just kind of push it downward, like what I'm doing. And then they should do that on both sides though, and they should come right out. So now there's going to be a few 10 millimeter nuts. There is one, two, this one right down there. Remove these three on uh, that side and of course remove it on that side as well. These nuts are 10 millimeter nuts. Put them somewhere safe.
Okay. So now that we got those nuts off, you come over here. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but if you look straight down. Oh wait, you can't see it. Let me flip this way. Flashlight. That little light that I'm pointing to with the flashlight, that little tab, push it down because it's holding on to that little grill. So we're gonna try attempt that and then try to wiggle it off. All right, so I actually found another thing you have to remove. So sorry about that, but you see these little squares right here. There's one, and then of course there's one more on this side. If you look inside it, there's a little tab right there. Let me get a flashlight. You notice on the top part there's a little a little wedge, and then the very bottom, it's kind of hanging. You gotta push this wedge up so that it removes off that little hanging pin, whatever that's gonna be called. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. should have a better view of it now. We're trying to get this lip thing right here from that. Hold on. All right. Now that I got that off, you'll be able to see it better, I think. Actually, you will not. So let me just flip this around. See that little wedge thing right here? That's what I was trying to push in from up top. But once you push it in, then you can get this pulled up. So let's do the same thing on the other side. been the hardest part so far. Let's try to move this around so you get better angles. But we're trying to work in that area right here. Let me find a better position to put the camera. Okay, so that tab that I mentioned earlier right here, well, you'll be able to see it. But push that tab up and you literally just kind of bang the grill towards the engine softly. It seems aggressive, I know, but you'll notice it's getting looser. See, we're just trying to follow it all the way down. So I'm just going to keep at it. You'll see here at the bottom, what we're trying to do is essentially get this separated from the bumper. But it's kind of, see that? It's kind of wedged in there. This middle part's the hardest so far. All right, so I've been working at it for a little bit. I think I found a little trick. So if you take a flathead screwdriver, if you wedge it in at this very bottom part, that's what I was getting stuck on right there. So I just kind of pushed it in, and I think this should be pretty much loose now. But let me go ahead and back up and try to take it off. All right, let's get it down to the workbench. All right, I'm just going to go over here so you can take a look at what it looks like so you kind of know what you're prying off. So it pretty much all its seats in there pretty snug. And you'll see why there was a little bit of struggle for me just now because essentially this is wedged like between the grill. All right, let's go to the bench though. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this video because the reinstallation is the exact same process. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my new grill right here but before I install that, I need to transfer this little uh, Mercedes logo 
badge right here onto the new onto the new one and, and then i'll get it all reinstalled but uh if you like this video make sure to give me that thumbs up to help with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner i am pretty sure this is the only video of how to change your gorilla on a mercedes glk um because i haven't found one on youtube at all but uh thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one all right this is just to give you an update so of course this right here is going to be my old one you see the bubble right there at the top and this is my new one the only difference is my aftermarket one does not have the chrome pieces right here but uh oh well it was only 130 dollars but i will tell you this transfer was by far the most challenging so far just because of the small pieces you're trying to like uh, pry it off of that there's a retaining clip around here you're just trying to pull all of it off without it breaking but uh that's it all right so here is the finished product pretty easy diy you know like i said i think the hardest part is just transferring this logo believe it or not and of course a uh, tug me at the bottom just because you don't have a lot of visibility but again i am pretty sure this is the only grill video for a glk make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything else